Now for this next part, we've got to show that the lower quartile of x, q1, lies between 2.29 and 2.31. And you can see that I've put q1 on our sketch of the probability density function, f of x. We know that the probability of being less than q1 has got to be 0.25. 25% of the values, remember, are less than the lower quartile. So what that means is that we know that that probability, which is given through the commutative distribution function of f of x, we know that f of q1, the probability of being less than or equal to it, has got to equal 0.25. So what I would expect then is f of 2.29 to be a value less than 0.25, and then when I do f of 2.31, it's going to be a value greater than 0.25. In which case, it will show us that q1 lies between 2.29 and 2.31. So all that's left to do then is to work out what each of those values are. We'll start with f of 2.29. Okay, remember we're expecting a value less than 0.25. So if you put 2.29 into f of x, and you'll notice, by the way, that I've substituted for the constant a at this point that we found earlier, which was 7. So you've got f of 2.29 then equals 1 over 32 multiplied by 7 minus 15 times 2.29 and plus 9 times 2.29 squared minus 2.29 all cubed, okay? Now if you work that out, you end up with indeed a number less than 0 0.25, not 0.2449, oops, I missed that two out, not 0.2449 and so on. And similarly, if you do f of 2.31, I won't run through it all again like this, but if you do much the same kind of thing, you end up with 0 0.2515 and so on. So therefore, what we've got is that 2.29 is less than Q1, and that value Q1 is less than 2.31. In other words, Q1 is between 2.29 and 2.31. Okay.